like a peaceful float in the old Maxim pool, huh, Trevor? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Not cool, guys! I know a certain uptight hovering computer that's gonna be so peeved! Chill, ladies. Try it. You know you wanna. <laughs> Go away. Vamos. Get out, everyone. Real nice, Max and Brain. Those were my friends you flicked away. You're lucky I didn't flush them down the pool drain like last time. <laughs> <laughs> Great party! Where am I? <laughs> You gotta chill with your safety rules and emergency procedures already. <laughs> Who needs them? You do! I am the most powerful supercomputer on Earth. But instead of servicing the needs of a superhero, I am babysitting a super slob! I am not a bumblegum disposal unit, an underwear warmer, nor a beverage dispenser! <laughs> Sometimes I wish you'd just pack your hard drive and leave. Oh, you'd like that? Yes. I would. Oh, you'd really like that. Oh, yes. I really would. Oh, you'd really, really... Back to the chase, people! Well, maybe I will. And another thing. Uh... Oh, no, you didn't just leave. But you will know when I tell you to leave, and it's really time to leave. Let's see how this plays out. Don't turn your back on me. I've got plenty of stuff to complain about. One, who asked you to iron my underwear in the first place? Two... <laughs> 7,659 bugs can be pets. And... that should do it. Ah, I'm glad we had these souvenirs of our trek through Beardo, Slovakia to keep us warm. Oh, yeah! You bet. So, how goes the argument? It just took an interesting twist. Whoa! <gasps> I'm in heaven! Oh. Look at all the touchable doohickeys! <laughs> Whoa! What is this place? And where's Brain? Oh, go no further! <laughs> Violate my robotic Shangri La! How about turning up the lights so you can see who dares, genius? You are right. That is being much better. What? <sighs> Welcome to my amazing Maxim Brain Factory. This is the most brilliant inventor in the history of inventing! Maximus R. Brainius, creator of Maxim Brain! <laughs> I do enjoy the visitors. I get them so rarely. But why are you here? We follow Maxim Brain. Hey, where is that box of bolts anyway? Hmm. I've activated the homing beacons in all the older brain models so they would return to my factory for an upgrade. Oh, so that explains why Brain was acting like such a zombie. That, or his zombie mode switch might have activated. You never know when you need an army of zombie computers to serve you. <laughs> Oops, I have said too much. Who wants an I Heart Maxim Brain t-shirt? I do! Me! <laughs> uh, uh? Oh, how sad. Look at the toxic waste. Technology comes with a price to our environment. I repeat, how sad. <laughs> Last stop on the tour. This is where all the 1.0 Maxim brains will be incinerated. What? Oh, did I say incinerated? I meant uh, destroyed? Vaporized, yeah. Recycled into a dot diapers. But you said you were upgrading the Maxim brains. Oh, yes, but the upgrading is total. I must destroy all inferior models. You can watch, but it is disturbing. <laughs> Uh, note to self, do not program 2.0 models to scream in pain. 
What was I thinking? Maxim Brain destroyed? Sure, we've had our problems, but vaporized? <laughs> this is also sudden. Look away! <laughs> and <laughs> enough sadness. Do not weep for your lost friend. He was old and out of date. Rejoice, for he will be reborn as the new Maxim Brain 2.0. Wow, this makes Maxim Brain's horrible destruction yesterday's news. It's so shiny. Must activate. Ah! Hey, what's going on? Ah! Silence! Ah! Oh! Stand up straight. Do your homework. Ah! Scrub the toilet. <laughs> Get in shit. Um. Ah, yes. The Brain 2.0 is 1,000 times more rule-applying than previous brains. It has a GPS rule-breaking locator and state-of-the-art mag matrix. Excuse me, children. It seems that one of my robots has learned to think on its own. I must nip that in the bud. Enjoy your new computer. Enjoy? <laughs> right. Maxim Brain may have been a nag, but at least he put up with my classic Eric Tude. Not like this piece of junk. Oh, we are so getting our Maxim Brain back. Even if I have to put him back together piece by piece. And as for you... or whatever computers are made of. Oh, oh, Eric, we have to talk. And I've got it! <sighs> wow! Nice job, amigo. Well, at least I tried. Brain, wake up! <laughs> no! No, this brain might be broken down and annoying, but he's the brain I want. Time for plan B. <laughs> would have been enough, and much less revolting. But whatevs, let us get out of here. Oh. Intruders! <gasps> get them! Circuits will surely short circuit. Would you rather be incinerated? You are right. For once, cover my eyes. I do not want to watch. <laughs> Note to sell design breaks in all 3.0 models. Save 
made by the same toxic sludge that threatens our planet. Don't rub it in, okay? But it's great for my pores. Mm -hmm. This does not process. Why did I not explode like my more advanced replacement? Looks like Eric's undies absorbed all the sludge. And this old bubblegum shielded your vital components. <gasps> so, the very Eric filth I always hated saved me in the end. No need to thank me. Just admit I'm always right. Always right? Always right! Like how you were right about filling your mattress with live geese? What? It's still feathers. Or how about the time you used an adult diaper as a slingshot? What's wrong with that? How about the time you tried to build a model of the Taj Mahal to full scale? Here I am in sunny Siberia. Here I am eating Berchelnik. Here I am battling like a snow monster in the snow. Boring. Feast your eyes on me, baby. I'm blinded by beauty and also intense light. Where did you get those fine booties? I'll never tell. Mm. Ah, a shoe store. Why didn't I think of that? To the shoe store! <laughs> Cool cats and jive dogs looking to turn those squares into circles? Who wants to rock around the block till it's hot dog o'clock? What? 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 I don't get it. Hustle up your hind paws and let's turn those hot mocks into cool walks. Sticks, two left feet don't make a right boot, and we're square out of south paws. Please, have you checked the whole store? W what about those? Whoa, uh, nope, uh, sorry, lefty, no can shoe. <laughs> now, everybody, let's boogie. Whoa! Whoa! These boots totally make me want to dance. I think I have the thump. Oh. Oh, oh, trips on the go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, let's all boogie. <laughs> boots for a pair of our jazzy new ones. Really? My boots cause giant awesome earthquakes. Yours are sparkly. Why would I switch? Cause all the cool kids are wearing them. Duh. Not all the cool kids. Come on kids. Time to get back to the boogie. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, boogie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Activate. 
Nah, that sounds too keen. Operation, I control the world with my evil boots. <laughs> no, that sounds like super villain genius. Oh, yeah. Who got the funk? I got the funk. Who got the funk? I do. Who? Yeah. As long as you got those dazzle jazzles on your downstairs hands, there's nothing you can scat diddly do. Huh? What? Seriously, would you please just speak normal? I'm hip to your lingo, friend. He means as long as you wear those boots, you're under his control. You're not as dim as your two feet look. A burn! <laughs> he said look. <laughs> so, crazy aside, why are you doing this? I come from a family of world-famous dancers who never thought I was good enough to earn the name Van Twinkle Toes. But that's all gonna change once I turn Splitsboro into my own private dance troupe. And no goofy, two-left-feeted little girl is gonna stop me. Well, I'm gonna try. Yeah? You and what dancing army? Oh, wait. I'm the one with the dancing army. Hit it! <laughs> Turn your two left feet into two left feet lemonade. Trevor made that once. It was gross. I mean, it's time for you to snap out of it. That's easy for you to say. Do you think I always love my seismic boots? Kids used to make fun of me. But now I wouldn't change them for anything. They're totally part of who I am. They make me special. Wow, and you forgave all the people who made fun of you. Forgave? <laughs> Hardly. I size most stuff and silly. Oh, the point is, you've got to own your two left feet, Kitty. They're the only ones you've got. You're right. Let's save this town. <laughs> Till I find her. I never want to dance again. Keep practicing, kids. Only perfection is good enough for a Van Twinkle Toe. Hold it right there, Trip. It's time to put the off in dance off. A dance off against you? <laughs> good luck. Okay. Loser doesn't take over Splitsboro with his army of dance zombies. Winner gets, uh, something really, really good. That's a bit vague, but I accept. Has your two left feet-itis spread to your brain? You're a terrible dancer. Oh, am I? Yes, you are. Oh, is she? Yes, she is. I'm doomed <laughs> to dance forever. <laughs> this is going to be slip, slide, and simple. Come on, kids. It's showtime. <laughs> You got nothing. Now just stand still while we tap tippity tap you into oblivion. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can't do this. Sure you can. Time to 
time to make those freaky feet earn their keep. What? Just do it! <laughs> I suppose we can still be friends, despite your hideous foot problem. Ah, that's really great of you, Vanna. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking your advice. You wouldn't. 